All right, well, you guys have had a little different week with finals and everything. How's, uh, how's the team shaping up? You guys haven't had too long to, to really do things. This yeah, season. you know, I mean, it, this is always a challenging week. Uh, guys have worked hard all semester long in the classroom, and then it uh, reaches its final stage during this week with finals and a lot of tests, a lot of papers, different things like that. But we're still, you know, in the process of us getting better as a team. So we were able to do some early workouts, um, with some skill stuff and with some small groups and different things earlier in the last couple of days, been able to get back on the court and get some practice in. Um, this is a, an important month for us. Uh, without the, without school, it's it's basketball and us really focusing on the areas that we need to improve in, and hopefully we'll be able to make uh, make those strides. What's excited you as of late? You guys have won some pretty impressive games here. You know, I, I, I think, you know, we've played well. Um, and I still, I think the most exciting part is I still don't think we're nearly as good as we can be. Um, guys are still learning. Guys are still kind of understanding what we're trying to get done. The baseline of playing hard and being competitive always has to be there. Um, but then the, the, the improvement in some of the nuances of the game and going through some of the experiences that guys haven't been through before is always a great teaching tool. So um, our development, the process of continually getting better, both individually and collectively, is, you know, as a coach is exciting because that's why you do it. You want to see guys grow uh, and you want to see teams grow. And I think this, this team and this program is in a, in a good stage right now where um, we put in the work, we put in the time, we have the right attitude and energy moving forward. We can make some strides. Head, hitting the road again, uh, facing an opponent that has a really good score. What do you think of the challenge? Well, you know, obviously, you know, a very close game last year when we played them here. Um, new system, uh, one of the best systems in the country. Um, you know, and, and they're, they're getting better defensively with the young group. They have Davis with the ball in his hands a lot, who's a prolific scorer and can get to the free throw line and is a great senior leader for them. Um, you know, they've had some big wins, you know, coming back from a big deficit and beating Oklahoma State, uh, and some tough losses, and, and they're young, and so they're gonna have that, but the one thing that you can see watching them on film is they are a very resilient group, and when you're in the stage that he's in, in terms of taking over the program and trying to build it up, very similar to us, resiliency is a great character trait. Coach, you talk about this being an important month for your program. What did you see in the first full month of the season that gave you a, a really good feeling about the growth of this team? Well, you know, I, I, again, I, I always go back to, you know, what, what our foundation has to be, and that's playing hard and being competitive. And I think even when we weren't playing well, we still had those two key components, which is important. Um, I do like our depth in terms of the opportunity for multiple guys to get better, uh, which is important. And I, I could see as we get to the last month of the season, some guys playing and playing more minutes that didn't play a lot early in the year because they've continued to get better. So, um, and just the overall attitude, you know, I think our guys understand where we're at as a program, but they're not letting that restrict them either. I think they have um, the ability to kind of see that we can make some, some growth during this time, and I think they're excited about it as well. You talked about John Davis. What, what kind of challenges does he present? He does have the ball in his hands a lot. Well, you know, he, he's kind of a combination of a couple of the guards that we faced. Um, but the one thing he has that some of those guys didn't have, he's got 100 and something games of experience and he's had the ball in his hands from day one. So he is a seasoned veteran, and he doesn't panic, doesn't matter what the score is. Uh, he's really embraced the new system that they're playing under. Very, plays a similar role uh, to Virginia's Malcolm Brogdon. You know, very similar role. And, and Brogdon, I saw it firsthand, him just keep getting better and more comfortable and different things like that. So. Um, we're going to have to have multiple guys guard him. It's not just going to be uh, LeQuince and, and Xavier. David's going to have to guard him. We're going to have to switch and put some length on him at times. Um, 
you know, and the, the young guys are starting to, to figure some stuff out. So you can't just key everything on Davis. And I think that's where Charlotte as a team is going to continue to improve. Um, early before the season started, Madut Akesh had a broken bone in his foot. Uh, what's his status right now? He, 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 the broken bone is healed. Um, since that time, he's had some back issues. So he's not been able to full practice yet. To be honest, we're hoping that this week coming up, he'll be able to get back on the court and go full practice for us right now. So in terms of the injuries, that's been, it's been disappointing for him because he had as good a fall as anybody in the program. Unbelievable worker, uh, put himself in a good position to really fight for playing time this year. And, uh, you know, this has kind of slowed him down a little bit. And, you know, uh, we got to keep his spirits up because irregardless of what happens, you know, he's a key component for us as we move forward in the future. Great. All good?